Welcome back, it's Dan. I'm down in the Guitar Interactive basement once again and we have an exclusive for you. So from Stonefield Guitars, this is a prototype of their F-Series instruments. What we have here is hot off the press, shall we say, and the specification of this, we'll go through it. It's gonna vary a little bit um, from what will eventually be in the shops and for you to um, be available to buy, but we're gonna go through the details, have a look at it, and um, see what you think. All right, okay then, so as always, let's get up to the headstock end of business. Two aside for this particular instrument, and we have these very, very cool tuning keys with ebony buttons on them. So I'm gonna just flip this over. And they're not much bigger than uh, the sort of the buttons they'd have on, say, uh, an electric guitar, for example. So it's a little bit different for those who prefer something a, a bit more kind of um, in the fingers, a little bit larger. This all uh, might take a bit of getting used to. Three piece maple neck. And then flipping over, you can see angled back headstock. Like so. Quite a nice little design, nice and rounded. And then coming straight down the nut on this particular instrument, we have got a 45 millimeter nut, but also with the instruments that will be available, you'll also have um, the option of a 42 millimeter nut for something a little bit slimmer, which will feel a little bit more like, for example, um, a precision bass, which is like that 41, 42 millimeter kind of uh, nut width. Down onto the fretboard of this particular instrument, lovely curved edges on here, nicely finished off, no sharp edges. We have 24 nickel steel frets, no markers on the front, so it's naked, like so. Kind of looks very, very cool against the light wood of the body here. And as I roll it forward, we have got dot markers. So you can see where you are, and your audience thinks you're amazing because you know where you are on the fretboard. And there we go. Brilliant stuff. And as I rock the bass back and forth, you can obviously see the lovely curved edges on the body as well. So come down and have a look at that. Very nice indeed. So, coming down onto the body then. So as I said, this is a prototype. So it is, as I've been reliably informed, it's been finished. However, all the kind of like fine details are obviously going to be a lot more polished up and everything when it comes to uh, getting into your hands. But this will give you an idea of what the bass is gonna look like and what the bass is gonna sound like too. This particular example, if I flip it over, we have an older body, okay? And you can probably see upside down here, you can see the Stonefield name um, is in the woodwork here. Strap button on the back of the upper horn, and I like this cutaway. This is kind of nice, isn't it? It's a bit unusual. 
It means that the whole heel is a lot smaller than the actual body um, thickness itself. Let's cut away through the middle. And as we come down the back, you can see that the strings are coming through, through the back of the body. So there's a nice sort of three body anchoring there. Compartment lid for the controls. No, very nice. Okay, flipping over. So. Now, you want an older body. On the production models, we're actually going to have Indian cedar as a core, and you'll have the option of a maple or a walnut top. This is the maple top, and then obviously the walnut will look uh, pretty cool as well. Coming down onto the electronics of this particular instrument, we have two OEM soap bars. Um, I don't know if they're kind of in-house ones, um, but as you'll hear in a moment, they sound pretty good. Controls wise, I like this. Hopefully you can see this as well. The actual controls are dropped into the body. This is something I really like on instruments. Rather than kind of like just being standing proud, you can't see underneath them. That looks very, very nice indeed. Interesting jack kind of uh, socket um, mounting, I suppose. Usually we're going really to expect to see those kind of uh, uh, inset into the body, like a Stratocaster, for example. This one looks like one of those upside down, and um, the actual socket itself comes right out the top of the body. Interesting. Let's see. So as I said, volume, volume, passive tone control, so no active electronics here. And whilst we're at this angle, I'm going to just flip the bass up because I want you to have a look at this as well. There is an element of um, double bass going on, I suppose. Hopefully you can see this. Is that right on that? So the strings come out through the back of the body, over the top of this rather tall bridge with Stonefield's thumb wheel adjusters. So you can get in there with your fingers and adjust the action to, to a certain extent, I suppose. But you will notice that the strings stand really proud of the body. And that's something that you're definitely going to want to try out for yourself. See if you like it. Like that. It's interesting, it's a bit different, isn't it? But what it does mean, if I roll it forward, you can see on the top of the pickups, there's actually loads and loads of space to put your thumb. So instead of you know, um, having the corner of the um, uh, pickup sticking into your thumb, Got a nice little stage, a little thing to put your thumb on when you're playing. So that's kind of cool. Just thought I'd uh, share that. Okay, let's have a little listen to the bass. In my intro, I tried to mix it up a little bit for you. So you had a little bit of slap bass, a little bit of finger style, and a little bit of plectrum work as well. Let's do that on the individual pickups. So on the introduction. Both pickups were on, tone control was all the way open. I'm turning off the back pickup. This is just the front pickup on its own. We'll start with a bit of pick work, here we go. Back the tone control off and we do the same again, just a little bit. Thank you. 
Nice rounding off the tone there, and I like the open nature of that front pickup. I'm not sure what the configuration is inside. I would take a guess at possibly being a, um, a P-style coil, possibly a J, I'm not entirely sure. Sounds nice, noiseless, I'm not getting any noise from my amp behind me. Okay, back pickup, here we go. Let's round off that front control all together. And the same again, here we go. Tone control down. So there's a variety of nice tones available there. I'm going to just see if I can find that interesting sort of 640 mix, 6040 rather. Mm, just on it, you gotta move the control just a little bit to get it. So 6040 favoring the bridge pickup a little bit and I just wanted to bring the um, neck pickup just back a little bit where the tone changes. Works really well on a lot of jazz basses. Very, very subtle actually. I just thought I'd try it out and see what happened. Okay, so there we go. This is the Stonefield F-Series prototype. It will come with a case and there will be a left-hand model as well. Uh, things that I just forgot to mention earlier on was when we we're talking about the bridge, um, it comes in a 19 millimeter spacing, but apparently there will also be a 16, mill 16 millimeter spacing as well. Something I'll prefer actually. Um, I've played a lot of bases with uh, quite a squat spacing on them that I kind of prefer. So it's nice to have that as an option as well. I think I've covered everything. Just look at my details. Yes, I have. Great stuff. So. I shall put some more information in the written review. For now though, I hope you've enjoyed checking out this exclusive, this prototype model from Stonefield, from the F series. There we go. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.